Okay, welcome back. I got my face all cleaned. Now I'm about to moisturize. So anyway, what I was saying about everything that's happening right now. Um, so yes, this is true. So we are battling two major things, 5G and coronavirus, right? And so coronavirus is a man-made virus that is attacking the respiratory system, according to what we've been told. And um, and it's basically like H1N1 version 19. <laughs> and uh, um, in so many ways, it's like oh, the most worst form of the flu, right? And then we got 5G, which is 60 hertz, uh, 60 hertz microwave. Um, frequencies that are being emitted from our everywhere from our um, internet modems to these free 5G towers that are, they're placing everywhere all around us and it's not that the body cannot necessarily survive with 5G it's just the fact that 5G especially if the body's immune system is compromised 5G can kind can pretty much make the um imbalanced body even more imbalanced if it, it messes with the hormones it messes with the body's regular ability to function um so if you don't do not already have a strong immune system you will start to have symptoms of flu-like um some, some flu-like symptoms and your body can get overheated and um you will pass out um because of the elevated levels of uh because of your elevated levels of, of the imbalance of hormones the elevated um i believe the hormone is hemoglobin if you're a diabetic if you're not diabetic even if you're not diabetic if you're out here eating these foods that has um tons of gmos and you're drinking water that's polluted um with runoff pharmaceutical runoff and all types of other things that we just don't even want to think about um so you so you gotta think about like this right Let's just get to the point. I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> I was thinking about two things at once. So we got 5G. We got coronavirus. Both causes the body to be more compromised. And if the body's already had a compromised immunity, if the immune system is already compromised in an individual, then those two things can definitely be detrimental to the body. And um, one or the other could already be detrimental to the body. And then the combination of the two is even more damaging as to why you see what you see out here in the news for the people that are really sick so i'm not saying that 5g is not real and i'm not saying that coronavirus is not real but what i am saying is that you can recover a lot of people have been recovered um have recovered from it and not there is not as many people dying that they say that there are they are those are projection numbers those are quotas those are numbers that they were expecting to have based on their studies and it's not personal, it's business for them. It's just straight up business for them. We are casualties of war. It's just, it is what it is, we're casualties of war. Um, and so the best way for us to fight back is to know these things. Do your research, you ain't gotta believe nothing I say. Do your research and find out for yourself. Literally look up 60 hertz. What is that, you know, look up 5G effects on the body. Look up um, the symptoms of coronavirus. Look up the symptoms of 5G on the body. Um, look these things up for yourself look up the effects of gmos on the body um there's been some i've been having so many debates people with gmos fine whatever they could be manipulating food for years that's not my point my point is when you put soy and high fructose corn syrup and inject uh chemicals into the fruits and vegetables that we are spending our money on and we're thinking that it's giving us nutrients and the nutrients are being compromised with the chemicals that's the issue the issue with the vaccines is that there's all many sort of so many fucking chemicals in the damn vaccines. You don't know what you're getting. You enter it in your fucking body and then all of a sudden you're growing extra toes, extra ears. You fucking can't talk right. Whatever. But it ain't the same. There's a reason why newborn babies start shitting everywhere and be turning, uh, you know, getting really hot instantly when they get 17 fucking immunizations. That is not normal. The human body is born perfect as soon as it comes to earth. There's no way you can tell me babies need that many vaccines to build their immunity but whatever that's a whole nother you know i'm saying is your body take charge ask questions do your research do your research do your research take your power back don't just say in jesus name it's gonna be all right i'm not saying anything against 
whatever it is that you believe and whatever you got going on. What I am saying is take action for your body. Okay? Take action for it. Get what you need to get. But don't be quick to think that the government has your best interests in mind because they don't even know who the fuck you are. They can really care less. It ain't nothing personal. It's a business opportunity for them. And that's what they're looking at. So, that's just what it is. I mean, that's just what it is. I'm going back to moisturizing because that's what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> well, I'm talking to y'all. But, um, anyway, yeah. So, don't take it personal. Don't be upset. Um, don't get stressed out. Even if you lost your job. Even if you like the stimulus check ain't even, you know, going to help me with anything. Even if you don't get the stimulus check. The less you stress about it, the more things you can do and the more you can tap into your power and make things work out for you. While you're stressed, while you're in that anxiety state, I mean, you're allowed to feel how you want to feel, so have your emotions. Those are healthy ways of expressing yourself and whatnot. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's not going to do that. When you don't do that, then you you hold it back and it makes you feel muted. It, makes, it, it clogs up your throat chakra when your throat chakra is clogged up. Then you just start, then you really got to unbalance, okay? An imbalance within self. So not only will you have a body imbalance, a physical imbalance within the body, within inside your avatar, within inside your, you know, temple. But then on the out, you know, then when it comes to expressing, that's all jumbled up. So then you got more problems. So, um, you know, just think, ask questions, think about it. We're all washing our hands. We're all staying in the house. People wearing face masks and you know scarves and things like that i wear my scarf you know things like that and they're still telling us more people die and it's like it just really doesn't make sense at this point like it just doesn't make sense <laughs> like i mean people are being more clean than they've ever been in their lives probably and um as a whole my grandma raised us like this so it's like you know me and my, my me and my sisters and my mom you know that's how we've been so it's for some of us that's how our family's been but you know, now more than ever, everybody's on the same page as far as cleanliness and um, being healthy even. There's people being healthy that you never would even see be healthy. So that's a good thing. This is a good thing. This is all really a good thing because now we have way more time to concentrate on ourselves. I got way more. You know how many face masks I've done for the past two months? <laughs> you know how much uh, I have many more vegan days I had again? I had stopped being vegan for a while. And I was able to incorporate and be when, you know, you got gigs. When I have gigs and stuff, I can't, I'm not always the healthiest. So, you know how much more healthy, how much more on my health I got? A lot. Okay? A lot. Um. So, that's, what it's, that's just what I'm saying. Like, this is actually a plus. We get to homeschool our kids, which I know is stressful for some of us mamas. It definitely was stressful for, I think, most of us. <laughs> um, especially if you haven't had your children at home. For a while and I just barely got into the territory of having kids all kids out and uh, had to go right back into it so it wasn't a big shock for me but it was a shock and uh, it was and I was like I'm sorry teachers I'm sorry for all the shit I talk I'm sorry <laughs> but the good thing about it what I look at it is is that at least we had all this time we got all this time to instill the things that we need to instill with our children I mean really how many of us really asked to homeschool our kids? A lot of us wanted to homeschool at first. We know when they was quiet, when it was easy, when they took naps, you know, when they just wanted to play Play-Doh and go outside for a little bit and that was that. Eat their little snacks and go to sleep. That was easy, you know, and now it ain't that easy. So what we, we, we get this time to really spend with our family and our friends and um, take care of ourselves, which we all need to do anyway. We got so many free radicals coming in from these light bulbs that are not good for us to the like i said the water to the food to i mean think about it fast foods are still open but your super fine dining restaurants that may have had organic chicken or blah blah blah, blah whatever you know extra good farm fresh non you know gmo and all that food organic foods is not available you know and yeah you can go to whole foods and it, but i mean it's just crazy we're just going through life you gotta do these lines and it's just it's just crazy and all over the world we're going through this craziness so there's a lot of energy out here so harness in on this energy use it for healing use it for healing yourself for healing your people around you for healing all of us let's tap in together let's meditate together i'm with it baby if you need a meditating partner let's do it i will be your meditating partner meditation partner i'm down okay so 
you just need to know that um drink some kombucha kombucha is good find you a flavor that is good um it, it helps balances the body's good bacteria aka probiotics it helps knock out a lot of the bad bacteria which helps combat a lot of the body's disease so think about that you know think about that buy you some kombucha you know i'm gonna make a post about or i'll make a video about kombucha very soon because i love it um it's really good for diabetics it's really good for just pre-diabetics it's really good period for all of us i say right now because this elevated level of stress and anxiety compromises the immune system so we all need to balance out our immune system so um what else do i got to say about that um another thing you can do is to get more vitamin d3 increase your levels of serotonin these are this is your happy hormone in your body so you need to uplift yourself you need to find something to uplift yourself productively um, and I say that because you can find anything to uplift yourself and make you happy. But really, if it's going to lead you back down a spiral of declining health, is that really what you want? So I would say do something more positive. Um, and get some D3. Get some vitamin D3. I, ha I have some liquid vitamin D3. Um, and then some vitamin D3 in the capsules. So those are really good um, for anybody with any kind of health issues and to prevent health issues. And like I said, go out there and get some fresh air. Get some fresh air in nature. Get the sun on your face. Just sit there and just feel it or walk or jog, sweat, drink, drink water, get you some coconut water. If you can get you some fresh green coconuts, get some of that. If they still got star fruit in your area, eat you lots of star fruit, eat lots of dragon fruit. Um, in my area, unfortunately, there's a mysterious thing going on where they all of a sudden disappear. Same with cactus fruit. Cactus fruit was all up through here. We in Texas. Cactus, cactus fruit was everywhere, okay? Cactus fruit was everywhere. And now all of a sudden it's gone. So that's funny. But anyway, I'm getting ready to go on live. So I'm going to hurry up with my makeup because I forgot that's what I was doing. <laughs> but anyway, gods and goddesses, I'm just telling y'all this because you have the divine power to change, you know, your life, your destiny, and your happiness and all that. Use it. You know, use your God power. Tap into that. I call it God power because I feel like all, like, as we're all a spirit, right? We all have spirit and then we're individualized. And, um, of course, based on whatever form we take. And um, I feel like we all have life force in us, right? So that life force, that soul force, that's the thing that connects us. That's like the greatness you know in us all and so life really ain't got to be as complicated as it be seeming if you know these things you can tap into these things and do more and get more right now why is coronavirus start like i said imagine where you want to be imagine exactly where you want to be and who you want to be what do you look like what do you drive you know where do you live what do your kids look like you know and i'm not saying of course y'all can change your faces i mean that's a whole nother theory. But what I'm saying is, <laughs> you know, start to imagine your future self, your future placement. Well, what it, what it, don't even, that, that's, it doesn't have to be something that's going to happen in years. That can be something that happened in months and days and weeks. You know what I mean? But what is that for you? What is that for you? So answer that for yourself. And in the meantime, make sure you're working out and exercising and doing what you need to do with your body. And getting yourself healthy. Because after all, I mean, if you don't take care of yourself, who else? Who else is? Literally, who who's gonna do that? Who's gonna do that? You know. So, make sure you do that. Oops. Sorry. Yeah. So you need. What do you want? The bump is right here. Okay, go lay down. And it hurts. I'll put some aloe vera on it. In a little bit. Yes, but can you, can you make my movie? Thank you. So anyway, you know, you have to adjust. I can't find this damn brush. I'm like, oh lord, not that. I fixed that. Uh -huh. There we go. So I'll probably jump on live today because why not? I mean, shit, that's what everybody... Is doing these days and there's really good opportunities in it but anyway 
you just need to know um take care of yourself take care of your health think about what you're putting into your body it really is important and you have the time right now so there's literally no excuse people can go vegan right now that told me that they wasn't going to go vegan because they'd be too busy well half of us have lost our job so you can do that you can do that right now even if you're working i mean you know what I'm saying? I know your work schedule can change some, so you, you can work out a healthier routine for yourself. And you should. It's your investment. It is for you. It's not for me. It's not for nobody else. It is for you. So do it. Do it for yourself. Let me find my brow pencil. Hold on. 